guys learning with rich here in this video we are now going to move on to the topic about floors and slab okay so our uh, last topic that one is about steel framing and then the last um, video that we have um, learned is about uh, configuring the beam joints so this time around we are now going to move on to talking about floors and slab now the first topic that we're going to talk about is creating a slab okay so that is what we are going to do very simple it's just like you're you're just creating a floor okay structural floor okay so let's do this so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna open the 3d view let me just click the 3d view here and then so I now have level one and then the 3d so I'm going to select here tile views so that it will show me the floor plan as well as the 3D view that I have open. Okay, so as you can see here in the 3D view, I do not have the the floor slab, right? So that is what we are going to do. So to start with, so I'm going to select the structure here. All right, structure tab, and then there's the floor from the structure panel. So I click the drop down arrow. So I select here uh, structural floor. Okay, so just select that one. The shortcut is SB if you want to uh, use a shortcut. So I select this one. There you go. And then after that, from the draw panel, so I'm going to use a uh, boundary line. So we're going to create the boundary of our slab. And then we will be using pick walls. Okay, so before that, let us check the properties of this. So from the property, so let's say I'll be using this one, uh, 6 inches concrete. Okay, so I'm going to select that. And then as you can see, the properties of our floor are here. Okay, so using peak walls, so let us now start picking the boundary of our uh, floor slab. So I'm going to start here. So I'm going to click that. There you go. So I'm going to pick this okay so basically you just need to pick the boundary of your uh, floor slab okay just click click all right and then make sure the corners here are clear or clean there's no um, extended lines or overlapping or and it should be close okay so you just need to check all the corners Okay, so that's good. So that's good. That's good. All right, so that's good. There you go. So as you can see here in our 3D view, so there's our boundary. So this is what will happen if you have an excess line. So let's say, for example, you didn't notice you have an extra line here. And then I select modify. So if you select check here to finish it, so you will notice it cannot be finished because lines must be in closed loops so the highlighted lines are open on one end okay so you have an excess line here so you need to delete that okay so just continue and then just delete this one all right so another thing no overlapping so let's say you have an overlapping line here you didn't notice okay for example you didn't notice the warning you didn't read the warning you just close that okay so you thought it's okay so once you select again finish edit mode so what will happen is you'll not be able to finish that and Revit will highlight the problematic line here so it says here cannot have overlapping lines so that's rule number two okay so there should be no excess lines and there shouldn't be any overlapping lines and you just need to delete that and then it should be closed so let's say I'm going to open this just like that so you thought it's okay so once you select finish again Revit will not let you to do that because it should be closed so that's why make sure all the corners are clear so you need to use stream extend to corner click the two sides that you want to clear that you want to extend there you go all right so once you're done checking all the sides, no excess lines, no overlapping lines, and it's already closed, so you just need to select check to finish edit mode.
And there you go. So just in case you see uh, a notification or pop-up uh, window that says that if you want to extend, uh, if you want to attach the walls to the bottom of the of the floor slab, something like that. So you just need to select yes. So just in case you have a pop-up uh, dialog box that appears. Okay, so there you go. So if I click outside, all right. So for this one, I'll just need to change the discipline. So instead of coordination, so I just need to select structural here. And then for the detail level, I'll just select course. There you go. Okay. If you want to see the shade part of your uh, slab, so you just need to change the visual style to, let's say, shaded. And there you go. And in 3D view, there you have it. So this is now our floor slab here. There you go. Okay. So that's it. Very simple. So on our next video, we are going to add a concrete floor with steel decking. Okay. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.